All right, let's move on to 5A, where Snyder will make the trip down to Westfield. Uh, they played at Westfield a couple of years ago in regionals. That was kind of the Jesse Bates coming out party, yeah. if you will. Uh, a couple of fumble recoveries, really key as they beat Westfield in the regional round. This time around, it's semi-state. How do you see this playing out? Because the Shamrocks are coming off a 14-7 win over a pretty solid Kokomo team. And Snyder, obviously very dominant last week against Mishawaka. This could be the toss-up game of the, of the weekend. I think we look at Concordia as the clear favorite, Pioneer the clear favorite. This one is tough. I think, you know, Westfield's played a very difficult schedule. They have two losses, one-point losses to Hamilton Southeastern and Brownsburg. They've played 5A and 6A teams throughout the season. The only uh, below 5A team they played is Brebuff at 3A, a very solid program. So they have been challenged this year. And a very strong team. I, I think they can, they can run the ball. They can pass the ball. Uh, Byron Hubbard on the defensive line is just a tremendous force for Westfield. Very disruptive. Leads the team in sacks and, and tackles for loss. So a uh, very, very talented team that Snyder is going to have to contend with down near Indianapolis on Friday. And for Snyder, I think they have to get off to a much better start than they did last week. You're talking about two uncharacteristic turnovers in the first quarter. Luckily for them, the defense held. Uh, Mishawaka misses a field goal. Yeah. I mean, they didn't get any points out of those two turnovers. You have to do that if you're Westfield this week. But on the flip side, Snyder has to start a little bit better. If it wasn't for, you know, the Matt Kippenhammer 85-yard punt return, you're talking only a 14-0 lead at half. I mean, they really escaped uh, what could have been a disastrous first half. And credit to them for that. But I don't think Westfield uh, is at the same level. I think they're a caliber above what they saw last week. And they would take advantage of errors like that early if uh, they were playing a Snyder team. Yeah, definitely. But that Snyder defense, I think it's playing with a lot of confidence right now, a lot of success. And you mentioned it giving uh, Mishawaka some chances. And that defense shut it down last week. So uh, if that defense comes ready to play like they have the last several weeks, uh, Westfield very good offensively, but I don't know if they're any better than what we've seen the last couple weeks, the Goshen, the, the Concord, and, and the, the uh, Mishawakas that have played Snyder. So if that Panther defense continues to dominate the way it has been, as long as the offense does not turn it over too much and put that defense in too many holes, um, I think Snyder wins this game. And you take a look at Westfield's defense. It, I didn't know a lot about Westfield for uh, looking at them today, but, man, against Kokomo, they limited them to, what was it, 52 rushing yards, and you think Kokomo teams in the past, kind of that odd triple option type offense that they run, I mean, you just think that that's a team that's going to rack up a bunch of rushing yards. They did not yeah. against Westfield. And also, they did not allow Kokomo past the 50-yard line more than once. Just happened one time last week. It's pretty good. Pretty impressive. So, pretty impressive. Westfield, you talk about the offense, but the defense has been good as well. How do you see Snyder's offense faring against this Westfield defense? I think that's a, a big question because you look at it. Where can we, do we think that Westfield can slow down Money Woods, Christian Covington, and Matt Kippenhammer in the running game? I don't know if they can. I don't think they can. But it, let's say they do. Is Michael Hopper good enough to make enough plays vertically uh, to lead Snyder to the victory? I think that'll be the question. Um, but I'm not sure that Snyder offensive line is playing with so much confidence and getting such a push up front that they're making Money Woods and Christian Covington look even better than they are because they're running through such big holes. And then when you put Mac Hippenhammer in, in a little bit of a slot backer type uh, hybrid kind of guy, that's three guys you have to account for every play. And it's very difficult for me to see Westfield completely shutting down those three guys on the run, in the running game. In your eyes, what is going to turn the tables on Friday night? What is the one thing? If Snyder limits the turnovers, I think that comes down to Hopper turned it over two big turnovers like you mentioned last Friday. He needs to limit those. Don't turn it over. I think if Snyder uh, one or less turnovers, they win this football game because I think that defense is good enough to not allow Westfield to score too many points. All right, Harold's has that 31-28 Snyder as a favorite, but basically a, a toss-up game yeah. down outside of outside of Indianapolis. It's like a, Carmel, it's is a suburbs. Carmel's, Carmel is a suburb of Indianapolis, and it is like Westfield is a suburb of Carmel. It's very weird the way that it all stacks up. Yeah, it is. It's a burb. It's the wealthy burb of Carmel if that exists. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's move <laughs> on.